डायग्राम स्टूडेंट्स आई वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू वंस अगेन टू द सेवेंथ पार्ट ऑफ लेसन नंबर फाइव सब्सटेंसेस इन दी सराउंडिंग देयर स्टेट्स एंड दी प्रॉपर्टीज सो लेट्स रिकॉल वंस अगेन वॉट एवर वी हैव लर्न इन द लास्ट लेक्चर सो स्टूडेंट्स इन द लास्ट सेशन वी हैव लर्न अबाउट दी प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ दी सब्सटेंसेज सो वॉट आर दी प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ द सब्सटेंसेज वी हैव लर्न इन द लास्ट सेशन वी हैव लर्न अबाउट ब्रिटलनेस so whenever any substance we apply the pressure and that substance gets broken down very easily that substance or that property is called as or brittleness property what do you mean by hardness any type of the tough substance that is called as what hard substance okay like we have compared the weight mod with the wooden uh, block right so weight mod was easier to insert the iron nail uh, as compared to the wooden block so that property is called as what hardness property again we spoke about what do you mean by the elasticity the best example of the elasticity which i have discussed with you that is a rubber band when we apply the pressure the rubber band changes its size and shape and when we remove the force the rubber band come back to its original shape and the size so that property is called as what elasticity then we have learned about the fluidity the liquid have got the fluidity property whenever the liquid spills on the floor it uh, flows according to the slope direction that is called as what fluidity so all these four property we have already discussed in the last lecture there are three property which are still remaining we are going to discuss that right now so what are the three property density solubility and the transparency so these are the three property which we are going to discuss here right now so let's see that over here one by one so students can you see that over here we have took the two block the one block here it is a wooden block and the second one is a metal block which is uh, or you can say the iron block any type of the iron block now what we are going to do we are going to compare this wooden block as well as this iron block with each other so guys can you tell me now you can see that here in this image the wooden block as well as the metal block they are of same size right they are of same shape as well they got the same volume as well but still although they have the same shape and although they have the same volume can you tell me that which block will be more heavier as compared to other any guesses yes absolutely your guess is absolutely right over here the metal block or the iron block it will be more heavier as compared to the wooden block why so because the reason is that the mass of the different substance having the same volume it can be different although the volume is same why the mass are different the masses are different because of the difference in the density the difference in the density so you can see that over here the between the substances of the same volume the one with the greater density are heavier than the those with the lesser density so we have seen that over here iron block has got the more density iron block has more density that's why iron block is very heavy and the wooden block has got less density as compared to the iron block so that's why the wooden block it is less heavier okay so this is the one of the property of the substance that is the density so although the volume and the shape of the substance it is same the both substance it will differ from each other depending upon its masses and that is because of the density of that substance so density is the one of the property of the substance after the student suppose if we take two liquid as you can see that over here in one glass if we took water and in the other glass we took the kerosene what we are going to do we are going to dissolve the salt and the sugar in water as well as in the kerosene also so what will be your observation so if i dissolve the salt and the sugar in the water will it dissolve yes it will dissolve sugar and the salt it will completely dissolve in the water whereas in the kerosene you can see that in the diagram as well the sugar particle and the salt particle they got settled down at the bottom why so from the diagram you can see that the sugar particle and the salt particle they are not soluble in the kerosene but same sugar particle and the salt particle they are soluble in the water okay so that means what student some solid substances dissolve only in the particular liquid if solid does not dissolve in the liquid if solid does not dissolve in that particular liquid then that solid is called as what insoluble in that liquid so solubility is one of the property of the substance 
so what i told you here the salt is soluble in water but it is sol insoluble in the kerosene so the property of the substance getting dissolved in any type of the liquid the property of the substance getting dissolved in any type of the liquid is called as what solubility so did you understand the meaning of solubility student so salt and the sugar they are soluble in water but they are not soluble in the kerosene so any substance which get dissolves very easily so that property is called as what solubility so solubility is one of the property of the substance after that suppose student when we look through a substance and we see the other thing we see the things from the other side then that substance is said to be transparent okay suppose if i keep my hand on my eyes can i see the other side no i can't see that but suppose if i take my specs if i put my specs can i see the things from their side yeah definitely i can see why because few substances are transparent like glass so you can see that the specs of this glass okay the glass of this specs it is completely transparent so as the glass material it is completely transparent i can see the things clearly from the other side as well so this is one of the property of the substance so this property it is called as what transparency so the glass and some type of the plastic the clean water they are transparent if i take clean water in a glass i can see the other side as well so the clean water it is also transparent right so you know the example of the transparent so if and if we try to look through this glass we can see the things from the other side so this is the one of the property of the substance that is nothing but what transparency so the transparency is one of the property of the substance understood students now can you identify this object just look at this diagram so can you guess that what is this and what is this yes your guess is absolutely like it is looking like somewhat gold right and it is somewhat looking like iron right yeah so this gold and iron it will come under which category in which group it will come any guesses this gold and this iron it comes under the category which we call them as what metals it comes under which category metal so the you can see that over here the substances like copper gold iron aluminum they are called as what metal and where these metals are found these metals are found in the form of mineral deep inside the earth so these are called as what metals understood so you all know that students metals from the earth crust are processed to obtain the metal so in daily life there are so many metals which we are using like you can see that the golden bangle the copper and the eggs and the iron we are using so many substances in our daily life depending upon its property okay so let's study about some of the common properties of the metal till now we learnt about the properties of the substances now we are going to learn about the properties of the metal so let's learn that one by one so student look at this image what you can see here so suppose if we take a piece of copper or any uh, aluminum wire or iron nail and if we try to hammer it continuously if we try to hammer the iron nail continuously or aluminum wire continuously then what you will observe of course if we hammer something continuously that metal it will get flattened completely right that substance will get flat completely so you can see that over here on hammering repeatedly the wire or the iron nail it becomes flat completely and that converts into the thin sheet like structure like this okay so this property of the metal this property of the metal as they convert into the fine sheet it is called as what malleability so what do you mean by malleability metals can be converted into sheet by continue hammering so this property of the metal it is called as what malleability again most of the time you must have seen that metals can be also stretched and they can be drawn into the wire so if we stretch out the metal and if they can convert into the wire like structure then this property it is called as what ductility so the metal like silver gold copper platinum they can be drawn into the fine wire like structure and this property it is called as what ductility understood can you see this copper wire so this copper it is converted into the wire like structure 
so this property is called as what ductility again you all know that the metals are good conductor of electricity always remember metals are good conductor uh, good conductor of electricity that means electricity can flow through it now you must be wondering how metals can carry the electricity let me give you one demonstration here in this image student have you seen such kind of image around you or have you seen such kind of scenario around you yes you must have seen observed right so you can you see this type of the wiring so this wiring they are nothing but what metal wire right so why they this kind of wiring are provided because these wires are connected to our house school and office etc so this wiring they are made up of metal they provide electricity at our home right so why they provide the electricity to us because this wire has got the property to conduct the electricity so the substances or the metal which can carry the electricity this property it is called as what electrical conductivity this property is called as what electrical conductivity understood and most of the time students you must have seen that during cooking we keep the pan on the gas so when we heat continuously that pan pan becomes very hot am i right so that means when pan becomes very hot so this property is called as what thermal conductivity what we call it as thermal conductivity so thermal conductivity means what whenever a piece of metal if it is heated continuously that whole substance it becomes continuously hot and that means the metal allows the heat to flow through it so this property of the metal is called as what thermal conductivity so did you understand the meaning of thermal conductivity student and most importantly you must have seen that the metals have got particular shine and the luster the shine has got alternative word and that is called as what luster and even metal different different metals have got different different color as well like i'll tell you for example look have a look at this this is the golden bangle how you say that it is golden because it is looking like uh, yellowish in color right and uh, this is copper how we identify that it is copper that is from its color and uh, again you can see that it is iron how we identify it is iron again from its color right so all are these are the metal so all these metal has got different color and all these metals have got the shine that means luster understood so the luster and the characteristic color it is again the property of the metal and most of the time you must have seen that such kind of the uh, musical instrument and on the musical instrument you must have seen that uh, such kind of the metal string if we pluck this metal string they make ringing sound right so not all type of the material they make the ringing sound but yeah most of the metal if we pluck them they make a pleasant ringing sound so when metal produces the ringing sound when metal produces the pleasant ringing sound so that property of the metal is called as what sonority what we can call it as sonority so sonority is one of the property of the metal as they make the ringing sound understood so students what we have learned so far today today we learned about the properties of the metal so what are the properties of the metal malleability ductility electrical conductivity thermal conductivity luster and characteristic color sonority okay so these are the different properties of the metal which we have learned so far so students here we have completed the lesson number 5 substances in our surrounding their states and the properties so what we have learned in this topic so far so in this topic so far we spoke about the solid liquid and the gaseous states of the substance and again in this topic we have discussed regarding the freezing point boiling point melting point uh, what do you mean by sublimation so all that thing we have learned in detail again we have learned that if we want to measure any type of the temperature then we use the thermometer and again if you want to change the solid to liquid or liquid to gaseous then heat is responsible for changing the substance from one state to the another state again we have learned about the different properties of the substances we have learned that the hardness elasticity brittleness fluidity density solubility and the transparency these are the properties of the substances again we have learned right now different properties of the metals as well malleability ductility electrical conductivity sonority luster etc etc 
okay so i hope so students now you must have understood very well uh, the topic number 5 substances in our surrounding their states and the properties so we will stop here we'll uh, we'll start the new chapter in the next session bye bye take care